Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to configure two routers with static IP address. First of all, you have you have you must download the Cisco Packet Tracer from the internet and install it. After installation it should be like this. First of all, I'm gonna make network structure using two generic computers they will be connected with switch and I'll put two routers with one server so this is gonna be our first network and this one should be second network now we have to connect all those devices using connections or cables first of all I'm gonna use copper stride through I'm gonna use fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port to connect with switch and fast Ethernet 0 1 after that I'm gonna use second port on switch and only one on the PC 0 and after that I'm gonna use third port and switch with one port on the PC you can see you can see green dots house blinking that means this configuration already set up is orange blinking uh, that mean that switch obtaining network address and those red dots means that we need to configure root and we're gonna use copper crossover to router the server and we're gonna use serial cable to connect those routers serial DCE with serial 000 and serial 000 this is our network structure now we have to configure our routers and uh, after configuration we must see green dots right here first con configuration is configuration of router 0 press on it go to CLI card type no enter enter type n and we must go to configuration mode that's command that's command conf t after we type this command, router is in config mode. Now we should type end fa0 slash 0 to initiate the first port of our router. And this is our router. And we're gonna set up IP address. IP address 192.168.1.1 255 255 255 this is the full subnet mask and after that we're gonna type no shot and that's command for changing state to up because this link was down it was red now is green so now we have set up um, configuration for this port to switch side after that we must configure this port serial port and as 000 we must put clock rate I'm gonna set up to 64000 IP address gonna be 192.168.21 and subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 252. This subnet mask he, from here is slightly different from this one. After that, we must type no shut, change state to up, and type exit. 
After this configuration, we have to configure router 2. We have to close this window, open router 2, go to CLI mode, type no, enter, enter in configuration mode, en, conf t, int, fa0 slash 0. Now we have to configure this port and we must uh, set up IP address IP address 192.168.25 and subnet mask is 255.255.255.252 after that we have to put our link up and go out from config f mode now in config mode we have to, to configure this port, it's serial port int s0 slash 0 0 slash enter ip address 192.168.22 slash 255.255.255.252 and put the no shot it changed the app now it seems that we are finished but now we have to set IP address for our end devices those two computers and our server click on first computer go to the desktop IP configuration click on static IP and first computer gonna have 192.168.1.2 address subnet mask is default to and the default gateway this gateway is very important for uh, this is gateway to go on the network to go to internet 192.168.1.1 after this configuration we have to configure another computer it's on the same way 192.168.1.3 169.168.11 and now we have to configure IP address for our server click on server desktop IP configuration and type 192.168.2 and for example 6 subnet mask is not the default 255, 255, 255 and 252 the full gateway isn't the same like on Another network is 192.168.125. And now we have, I'm gonna change this name to 192.168.25. And I'm trying to ping from this computer to server. A common prompt ping 192.168.25. When I press enter, actually it's pinging, but destination host is unreachable. That means that we, we haven't configured our IP route. So we have to configure IP route. Click on router 1, press enter, and Type IP root 192.168.24.255.255.255.252 on serial port S0 slash 0 slash 0. It's very important to be in config mode. If you're not in config mode, you can do this. And after this, we have to configure other router on the same way. IP root 192.168.1.0 space 255.255.255.0 s 0 slash 0 slash 0 press enter and our configuration now must work press PC1 open common prompt and type ping 
192.168.2.5 press enter and now we can see that our configuration is ok we got reply from our server all four packages are received time was 30 milliseconds and time to list to 154 and that's it it's pretty simple